Hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Jeff Goring, Sons One, and you're watching This Is Me TV. Yeah, for myself, being a, a Christian graffiti writer, which uh, for a lot of people, that's kind of kind of weird to wrap their head around because graffiti itself, it's based out of a, an illegal culture. So for myself to be a graffiti writer and say I'm a Christian, where myself being a Christian, I don't paint illegally, it's a, it's a little bit different for some people to grasp their head around. It's kind of funny, my boy Size, uh, he's, in my, he's in GH with me and uh, awesome guy, really cool. I remember the first time I met him, I was like, he's like, hey, well, let's go, let's go paint some freights. And I was like, ah, uh, I, don't, I don't paint illegally. He's like, what the F? You don't paint illegally? <laughs> I was like, uh, and he's a really big dude. You have some weird reactions, but it's one of the things too where it's that you don't let their reaction affect your life. I'm not gonna go and start painting illegally just to impress some dude. It's cool how now we'll, we'll chill, we'll still paint legal walls, and they really do respect me with it. You know, just, they, they're like, oh, sons, can't paint this wall. You know? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's really cool. And a lot of them would, I think a lot of them would be really upset if I did start painting illegally. Right now we're heading out to uh, Home Depot because we need some cardboard and we need some uh, linoleum to break dance on. The floor's a little wanky. I don't know if that's, maybe that's probably not the best word. Um, just a little uneven. Need some stuff to dance on. Don't cut myself. A little bit of a whip. This is uh, <clears throat> my sporty Nissan Versa. It's really nice. It's really exciting. Thank God I married into it. And uh, marriage is great. I married into a, a Nissan Versa. A MacBook, and oh, I almost parked in a handicapped spot. When I when I first started doing graffiti, this was the only type of paint they had, and they didn't have like they didn't have all these fancy colors like the nice painted blue or the two purples. It was all just like real basic colors, and there was no tips or nothing. But the, some tips and some caps you can put on these ca cans because they're good for filling in and that. So, but now there's all fancy graffiti paint, so you don't have to use this stuff. Hey, base, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I can get you food. You haven't eaten yet. Oh, okay. Love you, honey. Bye. My, my pregnant wife wants food. I gotta get food. We got our nice beat up peel linoleum. Nice granite. Granite look. Very hot right now. Right now, I'm checking a few cardboard bins for uh, some cardboard to put on the linoleum. And this looks. We have to do some bin diving. It's exciting. This is a lot. <laughs> when everyone talks about old school break dancing, they're always like, well, you don't do it on cardboard anymore? Yeah, we do, but we just put nice linoleum over top. It's a lot nicer, comfier, cozier. It's not that I'm getting old. I can handle it. But it's just a lot easier. <laughs> Back in high school, my buddy Chris Greenwood, or he goes by Manifest now, uh, he was starting a hip hop group. And, and we, we, we were kind of hanging out then, we couldn't, and I couldn't rap, so I tried DJing a bit. Mm, really wasn't good at DJing. And so from there, uh, I kind of got into breakdancing. We were kind of doing it a little bit in high school, me and a few buddies, and we used to get kicked out of the halls, because we might hurt ourselves or whatever. And then uh, after high school, a lot of my buddies who were doing it, they stopped, they just kind of grew up really fast. And, but for me, I, I kind of stuck with it, and. Um, now, because of, cause of graffiti and breakdancing, I'm, I'm, I'm not by far the best in Canada or whatever, but it's, uh, it's opened up tons of opportunities to travel and see the world. You know, I'm just a normal person in a hip-hop scene, you know? And I mean, I'm a, I'm a Christian who's a b-boy, uh, so I'm not like a, a b-boy first where I'm not a Christian out here, but then I'm a Christian just on Sundays. It's one of the things to do. This is a, a part of my life.
Well, maybe just to give you a heads up, we're part of a breakdancing crew called the Supernaturals. Uh, is... I took the mic off. It's, it's amazing, too, what, what opportunities God can give you, as long as you're willing to, to you know, God, I, I pray I'm going to this place, I pray that you can use me, use me to affect someone's life. And it's, um, it's really cool, because, I mean, you, you can right there in a jam, Nas will be on, you'll be praying with some dude, be like, oh, God, you know, I pray you'd help this dude with, with his life. And, um, yeah, I've had some pretty cool opportunities, but you make sure, you know, you, you make sure you make a stand for yourself, for your belief, you know, you don't waver, you don't, and my crew knows, they know I make mistakes, they know I have, um, God can use you with anything. And I think that's the main thing with my life. Uh, 1, 1 Corinthians 9.22 is one of the verses that really I kind of try to live my life by, which says, uh, to the weak I became weak to win the weak. I have become all things so by all possible means some might get saved. And for me that's kind of a that's kind of a big verse just because of the sheer fact that it's uh, I'm a, I'm a b-boy, I'm a, I'm a graffiti writer, but I want to be able to use uh, these things to affect people's lives for God. You can be a solid Christian in hip hop. You can be a solid Christian in breakdancing and in graffiti. I want to show these people that you can still love God with your whole heart and, you know, and still be involved with this. Like Genesis 1.27 says, uh, we're all created in, in, in God's image. And it's one of the things too where, you know, if God created us with these desires, to do great graffiti, to do breakdancing, to do even whatever you know people like to do at home. God created you with desires to do it. Well, why not do it? For me, I love graffiti, I love breakdancing, and I love Jesus. You know, so I'm I'm living all those things every day.